Hey, we're here at the 2011 Revolver Golden God Awards. We're in a black carpet, and it's going to be a kick-ass event. Everybody from Sebastian Bach, Geezer Butler, David Coverdale, 6 a.m., Motley Crue, uh, the list goes on and on. You definitely want to check this out. It's going to be all over the site. We're going to come up with some amazing interviews. Next two and a half hours are going to be fantastic. Wait till you see what we have in store for you right here on BackstageAccess.com, where the real show begins. It's a daylight died on the summertime suicide. It's a daylight died on the summertime suicide. Welcome to the award show. So what do we have planned for you guys for 2011? Well, I got my first solo record that I just finished recording and it's coming out this summer. We're going to make some announcements in a couple weeks and put some music out and that kind of thing. Um, we got a new band together, going on tour, the whole deal. Could the fans expect something different from Static X or something, something in the same realm? What can the fans expect? It's uh, very much like early Static X. I really went back to the evil disco trance core, a lot of keyboards, a lot of loops, stuff like that. Hi, this is Wayne Static. And Tara Ray Static. You're on BackstageAccess.com, where the real show begins. <laughs> you guys are here at the Revolver Golden God Awards. Oh what God. what can we expect from you guys tonight? Uh, guest performance of Sebastian Bach singing with us. Lots of alcohol. Uh, sex, drugs, rock and roll. Exactly. Sebastian Bach, are you guys a big fan of Skid Row? Yeah, massive, huge, huge fans, huge influence on us, so it's going to be a an honor, a fucking lot of fun playing with them. You guys are going to be actually kicking it off tonight, right? Yes, we are the first band, and we're, uh, we got something really special planned I think everyone's going to really get into and should tear the house down right off the bat. We want to know when is Fozzie going to do a full tour and we can expect, you know, dates constantly. How's, when's that going to happen? We always seem to go over to Europe all the time. Yeah. It, it's, it's our best uh, territory as far as just where they always invite us back. So we got to do more shows in the States. And that's like a, sh a show like this tonight for us is very important because it really opens the door. There's still a lot of people that don't know our band, but they're going to know us tonight, that's for sure. Yeah, it's probably had more to do with the record company support you get. You know how it is. It's like Jimi Hendrix spent so much time in, in the UK and broke there. And, and for us, we've had great support from our label in, in all over Europe and in Australia and in the Far East. And, you know, we're just, it's a matter of us finding the right people that understand the band. And but we want to, though. Yeah. This, is, this is like, we're going to tear the doors open tonight, man. So will there be a possible Guns Elm anytime soon? Uh, we're hoping so, absolutely. Yeah, we're hoping. You know, that's the goal. <laughs> oh, with Axel, anything's a possibility, right? Yeah, I mean, the one thing is, is, is the songs he has up his sleeve is, is going to floor people. Like, the guy is just incredible. Uh, we've seen you guys actually perform last night at the Viper Room. How did you guys think the uh, show went out? Did you, you were there? Well... For all the people how do you think it went? I think actually it went out pretty good, I, but I'm not the band. I want to know how you guys thought. Well, we're not the audience. I mean, it felt great on stage. It was, uh, you know, it's, it's a perfect little venue. Um, I think every rock band that has a record release should play some little shithole, dive, sweaty, packed place. And, and the Vibe Room is that, you know. And shithole, I mean that in a good way. Uh, it was it was great for us, you know, to play that show. You guys are performing tonight. We are performing tonight, right? Yeah, we're playing three songs tonight, two of our own, one Judas Priest classic. 2011, Geezer. What can we expect out of you? Are you going to be doing any touring, any writing? Uh, just writing the new GZR album, or GZR. <laughs> um, that's what I'm into at the moment. I'm not sure what else. Are you expecting any type of release possibly in 2011, or are you going to just take your time with that? It'll be, I'll be taking my time, be out next year. Dan Hardy here from UFC and uh, at the Revolver Golden God Awards. And what can, uh, how's your first experience? Is this your first experience on the black carpet? Uh, yeah, first time, first time. It's kind of strange. All right. Uh, has Jericho challenged you at all, like uh, to like any type of? Uh, Moves, uh, wrestling moves, or anything like that. Is not, that not yet, not yet. I've got my mouthpiece in the car though, so I'm ready for whenever. <laughs> Tell the people what we, what your involvement is tonight. My involvement tonight is to be here and have a lot of fun, drink a lot of booze, enjoy some of the music of some of my favorite bands, to present an award, and then I'll be making a special sneak appearance with somebody that I can't tell you about yet. 
Uh, the middle of May, we're going to start a new record. The third Hell Yeah record will be out around October this year, so you can look forward to that. And uh, do we have a possible title for that? Have no possible title for it yet, but I can promise you it'll be 100% Hell Yeah. Hey, this is Denny Paul from Hell Yeah, and you're on BackstageAccess.com, where the real show begins. Come on now. So are you just hanging out, or can we expect anything from you tonight? Um, well, I'm hanging out. I'm definitely going to be drinking tonight, and uh, I'm going to be also uh, introducing Devil Driver tonight. They're going to be one of the bands performing, and um, uh, they're going to be playing songs from our new album, Beast. Okay. We're here with Vince Neal, and we want to know... How did the uh, idea come up with picking this, you know, the, the set list, like the fans actually picking the set list? How that like we've actually wanted to do this for a long time, and we just haven't figured out the way to do it right. And this time we kind of figured it out, and uh, we just got such such great feedback now from all the fans about the about the songs. And uh, me and Nika were talking today, like some of the song selections that the fans have made are like some of our favorite songs to play, and we haven't played them in years, so we're like, yeah, fans, you know? So you could put it on the onus of the fans that like, hey, you guys want to hear this, and this is what we're playing. Right? Absolutely. That's exactly it. <laughs> question today the news dropped that KK Downey obviously is retiring and how do you guys feel about that well I mean you know there's not a lot to say everything's really in the press release uh, I'm gonna miss him on stage and off and I mean if anything you know I, I think he should get a little credit for pulling himself out of the game I mean it's heavy metal music you know if it's not in your heart and soul to play that's where we all start at some point we don't do it for the money because you ain't making any so once you lose that zest you know to do it I think it's an honorable thing to say, you know what, I don't want to cheat the fans or give them a half-assed product, so, you know, props to them, you know. For your band, what can we expect 2011? Adler's Appetite, um, we're going out on a tour in the U.S. May 5th for two months, so you have a chance to check out the show. And um, we have three songs on iTunes, three new singles, Faded, Star Dog, and uh, alive. alive, Good to Be Alive. Expect an incendiary show every night. You're playing small clubs and playing theaters, like a big indoor mini Woodstock without the mud every night. How are you enjoying uh, the uh, festivities so far? I'm having a good time. I'm not working. I'm here just to have fun, and drink drinks, and watch some bands. And does it get any better than that? There's no pressure. It, no, it does not get any better than that. Just hang out, and no pressure at all. And, uh, the band obviously put out a new record last year, and uh, what's the plans for this year in 2011? Um, we're, we've been touring tons. We already did Mayhem, and we just did the uh, Music as a Weapon, so now we're just going to do another headlining tour, one more, and then we're doing a new album. Really? We don't play around. Right. Yeah. What do we expect for the new album? Uh, Are we working on it? Dark, heavy, and kind of sick and twisted. So the rest of the year are possibly touring as well. Yeah, we're doing a headliner we're about to start right now called Hell Have No Fury Tour. It's all girl fronted bands. And then we're doing a summer festival this summer that hasn't been announced yet, so I can't say. And then we're doing a new album. Hey, this is Maria Brink from In This Moment, and you are on Backstage Access, where the real show begins. Can you tell us what you got going on? Well, uh, the band's going back to Europe this summer, and then to fill my time, of course, I have to take on at least three or four different projects. So I put out a graphic novel last year called Wire Hangers, and we're making a motion picture out of it. How did that idea come about? It's something that I had long before I was in music, and I actually started out as a cartoonist, went to art school, and uh, as I graduated, I could either go on the road or make comic books. I told, took the music path, and it's something I always had in the back burner I wanted to get out. Taylor Momsen from Pretty Reckless. Taylor, how are you doing? Pretty good, how are you? All right, and uh, so you're here just hanging out, or are you going to be performing? What's going on? We, uh, I'm presenting, and uh, we're nominated for a Best New Band, so we're excited. And you think you're going to win? Probably not, but we're psyched to be here. <laughs> and you guys are on tour, and uh, a new record came out, and you guys are working on a record, aren't you? Uh, well, we just started writing for the second one, but the first one just came out, right. so we're trying to get people to hear that one first. <laughs> was um, the new record that just came out, I should say, and that was an EP, or was that a full record? It's a full record. We had an EP come out first, and the, the actual record just came out like a couple days ago in the U.S. It's called Light Me Up. It's a full record. But it was out in Europe for a while, though, right? Yes, it's been out in the U.K. for a bit. Okay. But we're excited that it's finally out here. Okay. 
I've been talking about it for fucking long enough, you know, like finally people can listen to it. Well, you guys have been on tour for a while, so obviously the product to go along with the tour, and what can we expect for a tour, 2011? Uh, lots of touring, and very, very fucking loud, so if you come to a show, be prepared. <laughs> hey, I'm Taylor Momsen from The Pretty Reckless, and you're on BackstageXS.com, where the real show begins. And you guys are working on a new record, tell everybody about the new record. Uh, it's called Worship Music. I believe it's coming out in September, and uh, it's pretty fucking metal. And what can the fans expect from this record that it might be a little different from the last? Well, it's been seven years. <laughs> eight years. Yeah, eight. eight years. We're going on our eight, so yeah, it's, it's about time. It's Look, I'll say it's the best Anthrax record we've ever done. Everybody says that, but we believe that. That's He's the obviously. first time we've ever yeah. said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, good. What the, can the fans expect from Suicide Silence 2011? A uh, new album called The Black Crown in July. Uh, Euro festivals in June. Mayhem Fest July, August. Uh, and then uh, trying to do a headliner in the fall and yeah, close out the year with that. Get it. Has there been any work and possibly the follow up to Endgame? Yeah, we've actually been working on it over the last few months. We've been writing things, sifting through a whole bunch of ideas um, before we go out on the Mayhem Tour, uh, which starts in July. Uh, our goal is is to be in the studio working on the next album. So um, it's a work in progress. It's kind of cool because we're doing it in between tour dates, which is different. Rather than coming off the road for a year to make an album, where I think the live energy, especially coming off the Rust and Peace uh, tour and then the Endgame tour, it's keeping our head focused really well on what the new, what the new material should sound like. Yeah. So the rest of 2011, what can fans expect out of Megadeth? Well, we are definitely going to be pretty busy, um, you know, but some of the, the time that we are busy is going to be in the studio. So I don't know how much you'll see of us at that point in time, but obviously for the Big Four shows and the Mayhem Festival, we're going to be doing that, touring the States. So that's that's where we'll get to meet most of the fans at that time. Uh, you're here. Obviously, tell us what you're doing here at the 2011 Golden Guy Award. Having a um, honorary headbanger award. Uh, album coming out called uh, Seeking Major Tom coming out in the fall. Uh, some heavy metal in it, and uh, there you are. How did that come about? I said yes to something, and then I said yes to something else, and there we are. Gus <laughs> from Backstage X is here with Josh Barnett, MMA fighter. Tell us what's going on with you. Well, I'm uh, putting together a benefit concert at the House of Blues, May 26th. Uh, all the funds go to the Red Cross, and uh, it's all for the whole Japan situation that's been going on over there. And uh, actually, they're still going through with earthquakes, radiation issues. Uh, there's a lot of rebuilding to do, and we got to do our part to try and uh, be a part of that. Are you up for any awards, or are you just hanging out? Today, I'm just hanging out. Last year was uh, up for awards, so maybe next year I'll get uh, an option for Most Metal Athlete again. Who are some of the bands that are going to be uh, touring or doing this show, I should say? Well, I've been very gracious to have uh, a headliner as All Shall Perish, uh, direct support as Animals as Leaders, then Cattle Decapitation, Abysmal Dawn, and uh, Internal Corrosion. So I've had a lot of help in putting this together. It's going to be a heavy as hell show. Uh, we're going to do some auctioning of uh, signed goods, things like that. And we're getting a lot of good people involved with this. Uh, 2011, what can the fans expect from you guys tour-wise? Uh, we're out right now actually, um, we'll be out until pretty much the end of summer doing festivals and things over in Europe and uh, then we'll probably, we'll probably start writing new music, yeah. Any package deals or you guys or is there anything in the works? I think right now, I mean, um, not, nothing nothing at this moment. No, I think we're going to start winding down I think at the end of the summer and start, start recording again. It's a possibly new record? Yeah. 2012 maybe? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, we're going to try to do it like a, the last record we did pretty fast and then we went, you know, slingshot right into touring and we kind of like slingshot out touring right into the studio and try to keep the momentum going. So, it seems to work. Definitely check the Deftones out on the road either in Europe or in the States. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us at Backstage Access. Hey, what's up? This is Chino from Deftones and you're on BackstageAxis.com where the real show begins. Yes. Hi, this is Gene Simmons from KISS, and I've just embodied a very ugly man with a fucked up hat. And you're looking at BackstageAccess.com. If you missed any part of this interview, go to KISSOnline.com and pay $59.99. It's worth it. And I have a small penis.
2011 Revolver Golden God Awards. We're here. We just got some kick-ass interviews. It's been a great, great day. Uh, you definitely have to check out the site. We got everybody from David Coverdale to Sebastian Bach to Volbeat to Asking Alexandria to Geezer Butler, Alice Cooper Band, everybody. You have to check out our site. It's going to be amazing, amazing interviews. It's going to be an amazing show. We're going in and checking it out. So... Suicide